Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, one house please. The time is 11 a.m. Let us rise for the national anthem. seated please thank you the quorum required by the company's articles of association is 10 members present in person or proxy can the registrars kindly confirm that the quorum has been formed Mary Sam Mrs. Owoso of Red Mary Sam can you kindly confirm Can somebody from Maristam kindly confirm? Okay. Good morning, uh, Good morning. shareholders and directors. At start, at start, we have. 400 shareholders holding 1.772 billion shares, representing 67.24% of the shares in issue. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, so the, having received that confirmation, the meeting is therefore duly convened and properly constituted. Accordingly, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the annual general meeting of our company, which I now declare open. May I request that Pastor. Mr. Pastor Samson please say the opening prayer. Does he have a mic? Could one of the ushers please give him a mic? Thank you. Go ahead, Pastor. Yes. Our Father and our Lord, we give thanks to you for making it possible for us to have our meeting here today. We give thanks to you. We thank you for, for the board and the management. We thank you for all the shareholders. We thank you to make it possible for us to be alive. And uh, as we are going to interact, and deliberate on our company. Father, be with us. Guide the board and the management. And at the end of the day, let's have cause to glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Lagoke Samson. So I wish to inform you that this meeting is being streamed live for the benefit of our stakeholders who are not physically present. I will also say that it's good to be back in this, physically together in the same room after three years of virtual meetings forced by the pandemic. Before we proceed to the more formal matters on the agenda, I would like to introduce the directors of your company. I am Mrs. Yemisi Ayeni, the chairperson. Thank you. On my left are Mr. Tabo Mabe. And I'm pleased to notify um, all shareholders that the board has recently, appoint, uh, recently approved the appointment of Tabo as Substantive Managing Director of NASCON. Thank you. And then 
Beside him, Ms. Al Fatima Aliko Dangote. Next to her is Mrs. Fatima Wali Abdurrahman. And at the extreme left is Mr. Abdu Dantata. I should also notify the meeting that Ms. Fatima Aliko Dangote has taken up a new role in Dangote Industries Limited. So she ceased to be an executive director, but she remains on the board as a non-executive director. And in her new role in the group, she will have oversight of NASCON Commercial. So we have continuity with that. So I think you will join me in congratulating her and thanking her for her services to NASCON. Thank you. Okay. So I will now introduce the on my right. So on my right are Mr. Adedayo Samuel, the company secretary. Next to him, Mr. Olakunle Alake. Next to him, Professor Chris Ogbechi. Alaji Sada Ladambaki next to him. And on the extreme right, Mr. Knut Umvoen. I will extend apologies from Ms. Halima Alikodangote, who's one of our non-executives. She's unavoidably absent, and she sends her apologies. I would all thank you. I would also like to introduce the shareholders, representatives on the statutory audit committee. We have Dr. Oke Umwuke, the chairman of the committee. Dr. Uma Farouk. Is he there? I can't see him. He's around. Okay, thank you. And Mrs. Ayodele Kudaisi Sarat. Welcome. I also introduce the representatives of the Nigerian Exchange Limited, Mr. Bonaventure Onguji. You're welcome. The Securities and Exchange Commission, I'm not sure if we have a representative. Corporate Affairs Commission, it appears not. And our registrars, Meristem Registrars and Probate Services Limited, Mrs. Funke Owusu. Our independent auditors, PricewaterhouseCoopers, Mr. Oladele Oladipo. I would also like to mention that the register of directors' attendance at board meetings, along with the register of directors' shareholdings, are available for inspection during this meeting in compliance with the Companies and Allied Matters Act. I now call on the company secretary, Mr. Samuel, to read the notice of the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. Notice of annual general meeting. Notice the survey given. Notice is hereby given that the annual general meeting of NASCON Ally Industry. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, please, I'm reading from page 182 of the annual report. Notice is hereby given that the annual general meeting of NASCON Ally Industries PLC for the year ended 31st December 2022, we hold on 26 May 2023 at the Civic Center, Ozumbambadiwe Road, Victoria Island, Lagos, at 11 a.m. to transact the following business. Ordinary business to lay before the meeting the audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2022, as well as the reports of the directors, the auditors, and the statutory audit committee. Two, to declare a dividend. Three, to re-elect the following non-executive directors who are retiring by rotation and have offered themselves for re-election. One, Sada Alaji Sada Ladambaki, Mr. Kunut Ulmue, and Alaji Abdu Datata. Four, to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration of the auditors. Five, to elect shareholders representatives of the statutory audit committee. Six, to disclose the remuneration of managers. Special business, to fix the remuneration of the directors. To grant the company, eight, to grant the company a general mandate in compliance with the rules of the Nigerian Stock Exchange Limited, NGX, to, to procure goods, services, and financing and enter into such transactions necessary for its day-to-day -day operations 
with related parties or interested persons on normal commercial terms. Notes. A. Okay. By, by order of the Board of Directors, E. E. Samuel, Company Secretary, FRC. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. So there are, eight, there are eight items of business before you today. You will have an opportunity for questions on each motion before a vote is taken on it and to make contributions as you may wish. There will thereafter be an opportunity to move or to second each of the motions put to the meeting. Please ensure that you raise your admission card and receive approval before you speak. I also request that you speak audibly and commence by stating your names. Let me present to you the chairperson statement, which is contained on page 10 in the annual report and accounts. Thank you. Thank you, distinguished shareholders. So we move on to agenda item one, laying on annual report and accounts. The first item on the agenda is the laying of the audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2022, as well as the reports of the directors, the auditors, and the statutory audit committee. As you have had the annual report and accounts for the period ended December 31st, 2022, in your custody for the required statutory period, I hereby formally lay before the meeting the annual report and accounts, including the audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2022, together with the reports of the directors, auditors, and the statutory audit committee thereon. I will now ask the representative of the auditors to read the report of the auditors, which is on page 130 of the annual report and accounts. Mr. Oladipo. Sorry, could the mic open? Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen. The report of the independent auditors to the members of NASCON Allied Industries PLC is on pages 130 to 134 of the annual report and financial statements. Um, given that the report has been previously circulated, I'll seek the indulgence of the chairman and the shareholders to limit my presentation just to the opinion paragraph and the report on other legal requirements. That's fine, thank you. Thank you, shareholders. Thank you. Page 130, report on the audit of the financial statements. Our opinion. In our opinion, NASCON Allied Industries PLC's financial statements give a true and fair view of the financial position of the company as of 31st of December 2022 and of its financial performance and its cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with international financial reporting standards and the requirements of the Companies and Allied Matters Act and the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria Act. Page 134. Report on other legal and regulatory requirements. The Companies and Allied Matters Act requires that in carrying out our audit, we consider and report to you on the following matters. We confirm that, one, we have obtained all the information and explanations which to the best of our knowledge and belief were necessary for the purposes of our audit. Two, the company has kept proper books of accounts so far as appears from our examination of those books and returns adequate for our audits have been received from branches not visited by us. Three, the company's statement of financial position and the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of accounts and reports signed Oladili Oladipo for PricewaterhouseCoopers dated 1st of March 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oladipo. In accordance with the Companies and Allied Matters Act, the Statutory Audit Committee carried out their duties as required for the year ended 31st December 2022. I now ask the chairperson of the Statutory Audit Committee, Dr. Oke Umwuke, to read the report, which is on page 126 of the annual report and accounts. Dr. Nwoke, please. Thank you, Madam Chair and uh, shareholders. Good morning. Um, again, just like uh, um, the external auditors, if you allow me, I would like to go to the last paragraph that contains the audit report and our opinion. I, I can't, thank you. <laughs> 
In accordance with the provisions of Section 404, Subsection 4 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, this page 127. Companies and Allied Matters Act, Law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 2020. We have examined the auditor's report for the year ended at 1st December 2022. We have obtained all information and explanations we required. In our opinion, the auditor's report is consistent with our reviews, uh, with the review of our scope and planning of the audit. We are also satisfied that the accounting and reporting policies of the company are in accordance with legal requirements and agreed ethical practices. Having reviewed the auditor's findings and recommendations in the management letter, we are satisfied with the management's response therein. Signed, okay, we on behalf of members of our committee, Dr. Omar Farouk, Alaja Kodaisi Ayodele Sarat, Alaja um, Hajiya Fatima Ali Godangute, and Professor Chris Ogbeje. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Nguke. Okay, so I will be pleased to answer questions which you may have on the report and accounts before we proceed to the next item of business. So I'll try and go in order. And if I could just say, please, can you, your name and very limited commentary, can we just go straight to the questions? The gentleman in the, please go ahead. Um, Ushers, can you move with the mics, please? Thank you, we'll come to you. Good morning, board of directors. My chairman, good morning. Board of directors, shareholders, regulators, everybody present. My name is Jibuno Godfrey Uche. I am the National Coordinator Youth Alliance Shareholder Association and also the National Youth Leader Shareholder Association of Nigeria. Do you have a question? Yes, Can yes, we yes, have the yes, question? yes, I have, yes, I have, yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. My chair lady, First of all, like I said, I would like to thank the board, you know, for the, the nice dividends that we are giving. Actually, it's a very good improvement. 77% for a long time running. We have not enjoyed NASCON till now. So I'd like to thank the board. They say who honor is giving much is due. So I thank the board for, for that dividend also. Mr. Chairman, also I looked on donations. Our donations are right, but please, can we sheave our hands maybe to the less privileges, the orphanages also? We know that the communities, the schools are important, but we can as well do other things. Their little prayer will help us. Now, I also have to the MD. Yes, uh, I, I have known Mr. Tambo Mambe, you know, far back in Unilever, and he has done a very good job. But Mr. Mr. my MD, please. I want to know what more products are we bringing to the markets. I know we have our cues, our seasoning cues, we have our salt that is, you know, taking us higher. It would be better for we to introduce more products. Like there are some. Thank you. Yes, yes. And Thank also, you very sorry, much. last but not least, sorry, our seasoning cues. I also like us to bring different brands. We have you know, the, the classic. But like crayfish, onion, other things we also can introduce. Thank you very much. Mark. Thank you very much. The gentleman in the blue, Agbada, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the privilege. My name is Tunde Badmos. I will tell the path of the earlier speaker by congratulating you for the brilliant results we are deliberating upon today. Well done to the board, management, and the excellent staff you have. It is expected, since you are, you are already the best, and you remained on top. The result speaks for itself. The revenue grew to 58.7 billion, operating pro profit grew as well, and the bottom line, the one that concerns the we retail shareholders, you performed not below expectation, but beyond it. Thank you. For that, and I want us to appreciate the company for on my be on behalf of everybody. Also, since uh, this is a related company to the great man of Africa, Alaji Alaji Dangote, would have loved to be there during the commission of that massive uh, investment. But since uh, he, he has his representatives around, I would like you to. Go. Sorry, please, can I suggest, can we have questions on NASCOM? The question on NASCOM. Thank okay. You. I will see, I will see no waste time, but tell him bad most today. One of his old friends sends Sorry, his can greetings. we have one house, please? We can't uh, hear his questions. 
Thank you. The question is not far-fetched. You can go organic. We are, we are running away from Maggie Kips, if truth must be told. And there are ways you can go about it that our products will be more natural. And then we look towards our natural ingredients. Iru Lucas Bain Sorry, is, can uh, we have... Can we have one meeting, please? Uh, we can't I'm, hear his question. You won't touch my mic. Thank you. So I hope you are, that one is noted, and uh, you can do more. I will, I will, what I say? I say we can look inwards and be more natural in our seasoning and uh, keeps. Okay. We Thank look you. at uh, uh, Iru in Yoruba, locust beans. It could be preserved naturally, and we go for it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You know, I don't have time to waste, and I won't waste your valuable time. Thank my you. name is Tunde Thank you very much. Thank you. The gentleman beside him, please. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, other directors. And good morning, the esteemed shareholders. Mr. Chairman, the question today that I want to ask is on page 136. It is important that you consider inventories on page 136. It's almost double. Still on that page 136, we notice that retained earnings grow tremendously. But whichever way you want to look at it, you cannot overlook that inventories. Inventories, it almost double. It gives us cost to, to, to look into it. Then on the uh, MD statement, which I read, the MD acknowledged the fact that we have a large populated consumer rate uh, uh, that we could eventually gain from. But with the population of Nigerians, it is important on this note and with this achievement, let us begin to look into award-winning award -winning items. Award-winning items in Europe that are making waves in Europe. Let us begin to look into it. We have the population that will consume it. Already we are, in the, we are, we are in the apex of this, uh, this uh, business. So by the time we get award-winning items and season from overseas, it will help us and make us remain on that uh, apex that we, we are. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for the opportunity. Much. Thank you for God that. Bless. The gentleman over there, and I think we'll take one more question after that. Go ahead. Good morning, our distinguished chairperson. Okay, can we have, can I suggest that when somebody has the mic, if we could allow the person to speak so we can all hear. Yes, thank you. Thank I you think that would be fair. Thank you. The chairperson, ahead, the name is Dr. Kazim Olayiwola. I'm from Kaduna, and I'm very happy this afternoon, or this morning, at least to be here to express my view. My first question. I can understand we have litigations and claims. Please, I will need to know how far we have gone about this and what is the hope for this company. My second question is an observation. You said litigation and claims. Please listen carefully so that you can understand what I'm saying. My second observation, it has to do with capacity building for the workers needed. It is very, very important when we have a large number of staff, totaling over 200, you have to ensure that they are well trained, often times, so that some, any, any member of the staff that is not productive should be given the alternative answer. Please, please note this, so that we can continue to be productive in the sector. My last observation is about the donation made on page 180. You will see in the list of items highlighted, most of the donations are restricted to the southern, southwestern states, which I think for NASCON, as a registered company, your name is known in all segments of the country, all parts of the country. Let there be your contribution to those people so that continuity will be there for your marketing. I plead for your understanding on this, and I believe you will continue to grow. 
This is my simple expression. Thank you very much, sir. There was a question over there. So the gentleman in the peach. Hmm? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. The name is uh, Evangelist Dr. Antonio Mojola. Uh, well, my speech here today is full of praises, but since you are asking for questions, I'll give one or two questions. Uh, on page 176, on the uh, related parties, continuation, that's uh, note 39.2, find out that uh, other related parties uh, receivables here is uh, 20, uh, 28 billion, 28, okay, let's say 28 uh, billion, uh, which is about doubling the amount for the previous year. And as about this time, which is almost half of the year, I want to know what has happened to that uh, amount, whether it has been drastically reduced. Then, uh, on the, well, sorry, uh, on the page where our claim a dividend is uh, highlighted, uh, the amount there is uh, 777 million. And I want to urge our company to do some other, uh, to take some other steps, in liaison with the registrars and the, the investor relations uh, desk of uh, the company so that they can print uh, a, clear, a, a clean and uh, readable list of uh, unclaimed dividends and uh, assemble them if necessary post to all shareholders. Let it be in all necessary relevant portals. Apart from that, let it get to, let copies get to the well-known shareholders uh, groups. Uh, since I said it's full of uh, uh, appreciation, I want to specifically go to your Potter on page 21, and there so much has been highlighted to the delight of uh, many of us who take uh, joy in doing analysis. I know a lot has happened here, and I want to urge the company to keep it uh, up. Uh, when I look at the reserve, I mean, uh, the retain, uh, that's under the value added. I found out, that's page 178. I found out that what we have there uh, is huge. In the first instance, I like the distribution here, and I want the company to keep it up. But what we have here as retained profits is huge, and I want the company uh, to think about the shareholders, why this dividend of uh, one naira is good, but with an earnings of a two naira, six cobo, I think the company can do better going forward. Thank you. God bless us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do we have any? There are no female hands up. Okay, Barista Shinobola. So it will take her first and then take you, and then I think we might have to close out some questions. No, could you pass it to the lady behind you, please? Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Sorry, um, just, just before you start, if I could please ask you not to repeat any of the questions. If, if any of your questions have already been taken, please don't repeat them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Good morning, Madam Chairperson. Other board members here present, the regulatory authorities here present, my fellow distinguished shareholders, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Barista Detu Tushinyobola. I'm the president of Highly Favored Shareholders. The, let me start from page, on page 121, item 7, substantial interest in shares. I observe that we have two major shareholders in our, we have two major shareholders with the minority shareholders in our company in the year under review. I would like to know who is representing the minority shareholders in our board. That's question one. The next one is on the same page 121, directors shareholding interest. Observe that only five directors out of 10 listed 
have our shares attached to their names directly in the year under review. There is no disclosure of indirect holdings. Why? That's question two. Then, and lastly, I want to go to page 154, note 11.2, administrative expenses. Printing and stationery went up from 22.3 million naira to 32.6 million naira in the year under review. Why? When other companies are going paperless, secretarial fees went up from 52.4 million naira to 67.9 million naira in the year under review. I want to know why. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank I you. Thank you very much. Please. Can you pass the mic, please? Yes, to the gentleman standing. The chairperson, very distinguished fellow shareholders and other directors here present. For the record, my name is Nona Au. Let me start on the note that I appreciate your approach to AGMs because it's important that as shareholders we know that this is a business meeting. <laughs> uh, so please continue to encourage us to know that this is a business meeting. And if it's a business meeting, you can't do it like an OAMBE party. Okay? But having said that, I want to start on the notes of our um, we can't have just 10 person for mini forum if I had he said 10 that's the only thing the only condition that I had that was attached to it if that is true there will be need for that segment of our amendment to be adjusted or amended that's the first observation I want to make I did notice page six and page 179 that both the top line and the bottom line did go up. And interestingly, uh, that is the best in the last five years. But if you extend it further, you are going to find that that is also uh, the best that we've been able to achieve thus far. So when I find that you are asking us to take a dividend of one naira, which a number of persons have praised, but the question I'm tempted to ask, do we have a dividend policy? So if we have a dividend policy, it may be necessary that you let us know today. So I will begin to project what you are likely to do uh, when we see the half year and the six months position and, and the full year position. And the reason that that is important for me, uh, yes, I know that there was a period that even the company, fortunately that one of the directors is still here, that the company shares were selling for 69 Kobo forever and ever, okay? But it may be necessary that we begin to consider the option of interim dividend. Because once you begin to cross the one era mark, uh, then a split becomes much more value adding for the shareholders than waiting until uh, 12 months after and then you pay us the lump sum. The second major area that I also think that we need to talk around, if you look at the board, uh, based on your disclosure in this annual account, we don't have the full complement of three independent directors. So I'll be asking. Um, fortunately for us, the regulators are not asking us to, to pay anything yet, no sanction. But I don't think we should wait until a sanction begins to hit us uh, before we begin to take those actions. But let me then take the next item that is related to the improvement in the top line and in the bottom line. If you look at our performance, if you remove the non not I repeat, non not of our business, you find that the West was basically just flat. What is it that we can do to push the size of business that we have seen in the North also in the other parts of the country. Uh, because if you, if you have two legs, and then you have the possibility of working on four legs, uh, the chances are high that the pressure that the two legs will carry will be far less if you share them with the two other legs. 
And that itself will also mean that the, what will come to the bottom line will also be higher. So what are we doing? Because the nuts, like I mentioned, went up in terms of revenue more than two times in one year. Uh, if it's all magic that you perform there, now that you are, you've been confirmed, please go and do another magic. The other side must, also bring, must bring better numbers than we are carrying. Okay? And if you need you breaking your head, please do. Huh? Ah. And then, no, with due respect. Because the longer you stay where you are, the more competition digs hole around you. And the chances is that it becomes difficult for you to cross when it's time for you to cross. So let's break the head now and we get orthopedic surgeon to put it together after you have performed the magic. So that, is the, very assignment. Much. that is the assignment that will be asked. Thank you. you. Thank you very but much. But let me close this segment on the note of what are we doing with our tomato business? What are we likely to do differently with our vegetable business? Because those, again, are the extensions as to where the money can come from. But let me plead that on page 154, the issue that has to do with delivery costs is also explained so that the understanding of this business uh, can also be better. On inventory, on page 165, I'm not sure what will have happened, but you'll find that finished product was huge. Is it in preparation for what will happen in the new year, or we had a challenge in having been able to dispose of them. Again, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak, but please continue to remind us that AGM is a serious business and we should take it as a business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think we're coming to the end of the questions. There's a gentleman, okay, the gentleman right in front of me here. Please, can you pass the microphone to him? Thank you. Yeah? One question, please. My name is Okonla Emanuel. On page 135. Sorry, can you repeat your name? Okonla Emmanuel okay. On page 135, the cost of distribution of 12 billion has eaten too deep into the gross profit, leading to a great decrease in gross profit, which should have been contributed to the bottom line. Wood cost of distribution expenses in the delivery expenses was also found on note 11 and page 154. Please, can you explain better? And lastly, Nascom family, the, the, the world says positioning for tomorrow. I pray and I believe that our tomorrow will be greater. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you very much. So I think I will hand over to Tabo now, if that's all right, um, the managing director, to address some of the questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. Sit down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let me address... I'll try and address all the areas that have been raised. Uh, the first one, which is very close, is about the questions on director shareholding interest. Only five directors have a direct shareholding. You know, it's important to know that none of our directors have indirect shareholding. That's why they're not here. None of our directors have indirect shareholders. The questions related to that as well was uh, the issue of uh, substantial interest in shares. Which directors represent in the interests of the minority shareholders? It is crucially important that all directors all of us sitting here have fiduciary duty to ensure that the interests of all shareholders, I mean all shareholders, including, to make mention, including the minority shareholders that uh, the question is being related to, are taken into consideration in any decision that the board is taking. And we have within the board as well to make it substantially clear that we do also have non, they have independent directors in the board. So the, the interests of all shareholders are at the top front of all our strategic agendas in the board. And this, the other point that was raised, question was raised, was in terms of corporate social responsibility. 
why are we not in, in other spheres of health, of uh, uh, um, going, going into edu education and welfare? You know, we have a very clear strategic directions and policies and a plan in how we drive our social corporate social responsibility. We impact society and social activities where we operated, operating in a very clear, not just haphazardly. We started when we had the Salt Village factory, and we had to make sure that we are part of the community. We, can, we are not an island in, an, in, in, in the community. So we started impacting the communities and do a community stakeholder in, in interview to understand what the community needs. We can't give you something that you don't need. So all our actions, all our activities are need-based activities. Are we going to go into other areas? Yes. For 2023, we are uh, going to be focusing on extending our social corporate responsibilities into health because health is very close to salt. So health is very, very important. All activities that we are going to be doing are related to one, uh, uh, interviews with our stakeholders, two, the impact that we have to that community, and three, the impact of what we sell have in the, in the, in, in the, in the community and uh, within the consumers. There was a question about innovations, why are you not into nature? We have a very clear innovation plan. We used to have uh, down cube chicken, down cube beef, and we realized that, uh, you know, it's important that whatever we produce must have an insight of the consumers. We went back to consumer insights. And the consumer insights are what we react to. We don't do product because we like doing product. We do product because we have done consumer insights, and these are the preferred variances, preferred products, and preferred usage of the product to our consumers. And that's what we'll do. And there was an issue about the north and the south. Uh, uh, why? Are we only growing in the north and not growing in the south? To clarify that issue, the only issue you'll see the north growing double is that we have made a very conscious decision to sell our seasoning in the north. The reason is very simple. You have to look at what brings you more value and what can grow your product quicker. And the return on investment is what drives our decisions. So we have seasoning in the north, and we are going to drive that product and extend it per Nigeria. We are very deliberate in a sense that if you look at what's happening in the south, we have a consumer base that uh, focus on smaller packs. And those smaller packs are retail packs. We have gone into extending our reach in terms of uh, 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 retail expansion, focused in the south to make sure that we have our product covering Pen Nigeria. We will eventually release our seasoning portfolio, bring it down to the south, and I think it's important to build our, our, our portfolio. That's what we will be doing. There's any question about training? You know, fast consumer goods business, I always say, is a 90% people deal. Without people, we'll never do anything else. So we have a very clear training program. Again, the training program is tailor-made to the needs of a particular factory, a particular functions at that point in time for the current year. Yes, we have, and we will continue doing that. And our intention, of course, is to extend it to the community, not only to our employees, 
Our intention as well is to have a non-unemployed graduates as they are in part of our program to help develop and be on a national agenda on the training. So that's what NASCON's intentions in terms of going forward is. There was a question about uh, finished goods by the end of the year. My brother, you know, I always say the environment where we operate is always predictable to be unpredictable. When we close the year, we didn't know what's going to happen to the elections. We didn't know. We said the best thing for us, let's make sure for any potential disturbances, let's make sure that we have enough product for consumers. Because disturbances or not disturbances, people will eat on a daily basis. They will drink on a daily basis. And we have to be there to provide that service. And that's the reason answering your inventory and finished goal product at high point is preparing for us to deliver that important service. Um, is there any other questions? Um, Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I will just make a couple of comments on the more governance-related issues. Dividend policy, we do have a dividend policy, and the payment is in line with our policy. Um, clearly, we need to retain funds in the business to continue to invest in the business. So. That also informs how we apply the policy. And on the issue of not having three INETs, independent non-executives, that is work in progress and will be sorted out very soon. Um, I think those are just the points I wanted to pick up on. Thank you very much. So thank you so much for the insightful suggestions um, and the, you know, the very helpful questions. I think we can now proceed on to agenda item two, which is declaration of a dividend. So the next item is the declaration of a dividend. The board of directors has recommended that a dividend of one naira per share, subject to withholding tax, be declared in respect of the year ended 31st December 2022. Are there any questions before a motion is put to the meeting? No questions, so we can proceed. Would a shareholder please move the motion that the resolution to approve the declaration of a dividend of one naira per share subject to withholding tax in respect of the year ended 31st December 2022 be passed. Okay. The lady in yellow. Can we have her name? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I rise to propose their motion. My name is Alaja Sarata Iyabod Balogun. Thank you and seconded by the gentleman in front who actually stood up first. Thank you, our chairman. My name is Tunji Bamidele. I rise to second the motion. Thank you God very bless much. you. So I now put the resolution to the meeting. Will all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards or raising their annual reports? Would anyone object? Can you put your hands down, please? Thank you. Would anyone objecting to this resolution please signify by raising his admission card? No, I can't see any objection. Following the majority of the votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve a dividend of one naira per share, subject to withholding tax in respect of the year ended 31st December 2022 has been passed. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is the re-election of directors. At this meeting, Mr. Sada Ladanbaki, Mr. Knut Umvoen, and Mr. Abdu Dantata are retiring by rotation from the board in compliance with Section 2H5 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act. Being eligible, they have offered themselves up for re-election. Distinguished shareholders, this part of the proceedings takes a bit of time if a separate vote is taken on each director. Therefore, if it is your wish, in accordance with Section 2871 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, we can vote on the re-election of the directors by a single resolution. Is that fine? Thank you. 
Are there any questions before the motion is put to the meeting? Since there are no questions, we shall proceed. Would That's fine. Hmm? Okay. So there's a gentleman. So, so the majority view, I think, was for us to do a single, a single vote. Is that the vote of the house? Okay. So would a shareholder? Okay, that's absolutely fine. No problem. We'll do one by one since there's some objections to doing it. No problem. Okay, so we'll proceed with the elections one by one. That's absolutely fine. Would a shareholder please? Sorry. Okay. Would a shareholder please? One second. Sorry, can you take the microphone to the gent? Sorry, can we have one house, please? Thank you. Can you take the microphone to the gentleman behind? There's a microphone coming to you, sir. Mr. Chairman, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Can we have one house the so name, we can hear the him? The name please? is Chief Shotunde. Shokweju, Chairman Beacon Shareholders Association. In this uh, profile of directors, we have not been, to, we didn't read that the directors A or B or C is so much old. Whether somebody is 70 years old, you have not informed us. And it should be detailed by the company secretary in future that those contesting for election are of this age, so that we don't ask questions. Please, that is my note. Okay, that's noted. Thank you very much. Thank you, okay, so we can proceed with the elections now one by one. Would a shareholder please move the motion that the resolution to approve the re-election of Mr. Sada Ladambaki be passed? Over to you, the gentleman in front, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My names are Ali Ayanwale Sikiru. I rise to move the motion. Thank you. Would the shareholder please second the motion? The lady in orange at the front. My name is Mrs. B.C. Adediba. I so do. Thank you, ma'am. I now put the resolution to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards? Thank you. Would anyone, can you put your hands down, please? Would anyone objecting to this resolution please signify by raising his admission card? No objections. Following the majority of votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve the re-election of Mr. Sada Ladambaki has been passed. Congratulations, Mr. Sada. Thank you. Okay, so we'll move on to the next director now. Would a shareholder please move the motion that the resolution to approve the re-election of Mr. Knut Umvoen be passed. The gentleman in front, please. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Abadone Kunle. I propose so. Thank you, sir. Would a shareholder please second the motion? The gentleman beside you, beside the usher. Thank you. My name is Pastor Lago Kesam Sinolushegu. I second that motion. Thank you very much, sir. I now put the resolution to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards? Okay, would anyone objecting to this resolution? Can you put your hands down, please? We're now onto objections. Would anyone objecting to this resolution please signify no objection? So following the majority of votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve the re-election of Mr. Knut Umvoen has been passed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Knut. Welcome back. Okay, so now we have the third director. Would a shareholder please move the motion that the resolution to approve the re-election of Mr. Abdul Dantata be passed? Okay, the gentleman there. Can you see where I'm pointing to in green and pink? The elderly gentleman standing up, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is 
Comrade Babatunde Elekede, I write to move the motion. Thank you very much. Would the shareholder please second this motion? The lady in brown in the front. Thank you, my chairperson, for your recognition. I, Honorable Balogun Oluayemc Oluatoi, second the motion. Thank you. I now put the resolution to the meeting. Would all those, sorry, can we have one house, please? Can we have one house, please? Thank you. Would all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards? Thank you. Can you put your hands down? Thank you. Would anyone objecting to this resolution please signify by raising his admission card? None. Following the majority of the votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve the re-election of Mr. Abdu Dantata has been passed. Thank you very much, Abdu. Thank you. Okay, so we'll move back to... Okay, so I hereby present, they've stood up already, Mr. Sada Ladambaki, Mr. Knut Umvoen, and Mr. Abdu Dantata as directors of the company. Please join me in congratulating them while we wish them the best in the service of our company. Thank you. So we now move on to agenda item four, which is auditor's remuneration. Section 4012 of CAMA 2020 states that at any general meeting, a retiring auditor, however appointed, shall be reappointed without any resolution being passed unless he's not qualified for reappointment. In addition, the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance requires that external audit firms should not be retained for more than 10 continuous years. The company's auditors, PricewaterhouseCoopers, have been in office since 2018 and are qualified for reappointment. Since no resolution is required for their appointment, PricewaterhouseCoopers is hereby appointed as the company's auditors for the year 2023. Section 4081 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 requires that auditor's remuneration shall be fixed by the company in general meeting or in such manner as the company in general meeting may determine. Are there any questions before a motion is put to the meeting? Okay, so we proceed. Would a shareholder please move the motion that the resolution to approve the authorization of the directors to fix the remuneration and expenses of the auditors in respect of the year ended 31st December 2023 be passed. The gentleman in front. Thank you, the chairperson. My name is Moses Ayodele Ogunjeji. I move the motion. Thank you very much. Would the shareholder please second the motion? The gentleman in front here. In front. Thank you, my chairperson. The name is Engineer Victor Engineer. I rise to second that motion. those in favor of this resolution, please signify by raising their admission cards. Thank you. Can you put your hands down, please? Would anyone objecting to this resolution, please signify by raising no objections. Thank you. Following the majority of the votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve the authorization of the directors to fix the remuneration and expenses of the auditors in respect of the year ending 31st December 2023 has been passed. We move on to agenda item five, which is election to the statutory audit committee. So this is the election of shareholders representatives of the statutory audit committee. The Companies and Allied Matters Act provides that the statutory audit committee shall consist of five members, comprising of three members and two non-executive directors. The act further provides that in the case of election of the shareholders representatives, Nomination should be received not later than 21 days before the date of the meeting. The Board of Directors has nominated Professor Chris Ogwechi, who is sitting to my right, and Ms. Halima Aliko Dangote, I earlier gave her apologies, as members of the Statutory Audit Committee. Since the Board has made valid nominations as required by the Companies and Allied Matters Act, there is no need to vote on them. I hereby declare that Professor Chris Ogwechi and Ms. Halima Aliko Dangote are hereby reappointed as members of the Statutory Audit Committee of NASCON Allied Industries PLC 
and I wish them the best as they continue in their roles. Thank you. Dear shareholders, there are three positions on the statutory audit committee to be filled in accordance with section 404 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act. As of May 5th, 2023, 31 nominations were received from shareholders for election as members of the statutory audit committee. Of the 31 nominations received, can we have one house please, thank you. Five nominations did not qualify for elections as they did not own shares in the company, while 23 candidates withdrew their nominations, leaving three nominees as followed. follows. Dr. Oke Unwuke, nominated by Adeolu Akinsoya. Dr. Uma Farouk, nominated by Okpara Clement Chukudi. Ms. Alaja Kudaisi Ayodele Sarat, nominated by Tijani Oluwani Shola Mukadam. Since there are only three valid nominations for the three vacant positions, it is not necessary to conduct any voting in respect of the candidates. Are there any questions before we proceed? No questions. So will a shareholder please rise and move that Dr. Oke Umwuke, Dr. Uma Farouk, and Mrs. Kuda Isi Ayodele Sarat be elected as members of the Statutory Audit Committee until the conclusion of the next AGM. Thank you. The gentleman right beside you in the yellow um, danshiki. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. The name is Emmanuel Odukayadio Gulano. I so move. Thank you. Would another shareholder please rise and second this motion? The lady in the green turban. Green turban, right in front of you, or green scarf. Lady. My name is Mrs. Modisola <laughs> Oba. I rise to second that motion. Thank you. Sorry, can we have your name, please? The lady in green. We didn't get her name. The name is Mrs. Mojisola Oba. I rise to second that motion. Thank you very much. Uh, you seem to have repeated this. Yeah, yeah, page 38. 38 is the same as 37. Yeah? It's the same. Sorry, we're just clearing something up. No, let's... Is it necessary, 38? Okay, so would the shareholder please... It's a repetition. So I now put the resolution to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards? Thank you. Would anyone objecting to this resolution please signify by raising his no objections? Thank you. So following the majority of the votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve the election of Dr. Oke Umwuke, Dr. Uma Farouk, and Mrs. Kuda Isi Ayodele Sarat as members of the Statutory Audit Commission, Committee sorry, until the conclusion of the next AGM has been passed. Thank you. So dear shareholders, I hereby present to you the members of the Statutory Audit Committee who will serve until the conclusion of the next AGM. They are, one, Dr. Oke Nwuke, Dr. Uma Farouk, Mrs. Kuda Isi Ayodele Sarat, Professor Chris Ogwechi, and Ms. Halima Ali Kodangote. Please join me in congratulating them all while wishing them the best in the service of our company. Thank you. Thank you very much. Agenda item six remuneration of managers. The next item on the agenda is the disclosure of the remuneration of managers. Section 257 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 provides that the remuneration of managers shall be disclosed to members at the annual general meeting. Accordingly, I hereby confirm that this item has been disclosed on page 157 of the annual report on accounts. So I move on to agenda item seven, which is remuneration of the directors. The next item on the agenda is the special resolution for the approval of the remuneration of the directors. The board is proposing the sum of three million naira per annum for the chairperson and two million five hundred thousand naira per annum for each non-executive director. These are the same amounts as in the preceding year. 
Are there any questions before a motion is put to the meeting? Okay, since there are no questions, we shall proceed. Would a shareholder please move the motion, motion that the resolution to approve the sum of 3 million naira per annum for the chairperson and 2 million, can we have one meeting please? 2 million 500,000 naira per annum for each non-executive director be passed. Thank you, Ma. The lady at the back. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I rise to second the motion. Thank Mrs. you. Mrs. CEO Obidei. You are moving the motion, I believe. Oh, I, I so move. Sorry for that. Thank you very much. Would the shareholder please second the motion? The gentleman in front with the white cap. White cap. Thank you, my amiable chairperson. I, Prince Awosaya, I so second. Thank you, I, sir. All the way from Ramosaya constituency. So I now put the resolution to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards? Thank you. And anyone objecting, please signify by raising no objections. Thank you. Following the majority of the votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution, can we have one meeting please? Can we have one meeting please? Thank you. I hereby declare that the resolution to approve the sum of 3 million naira per annum for the chairperson and 2 million 500,000 naira per annum for each non-executive director has been passed. So we move on to agenda item 8, which is the general mandate. The next item on the agenda is the approval of the general mandate, which is indicated on page 184 of the annual report. The board is seeking the shareholders' mandate to enable the board and management on behalf of the company enter into related party transactions that are considered beneficial to the company on a normal commercial and competitive basis and at arm's length. The NGX requires all listed companies to obtain the approval of shareholders of the mandate and renew same each year. Are there any questions before a motion is put to the meeting? So since there are no questions, we can proceed. Would a shareholder please move the motion that the resolution to approve the general mandate on page 184 of the 2022 annual report be passed? Okay. The man in the red t-shirt. At last, ma. Thank you, my chairperson. My name is uh, Ajayi Oluwafemi. I so second the motion. Thank you. Thank you. Would, thank you. Would a shareholder move, please move second this motion? Let's come to this side of the room. The gentleman in the white t-shirts. I second the motion. My name is Ige John Kenneth. Thank, thank you. you very much. So I now put the resolution to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this resolution please signify by raising their admission cards? Thank you. And any objections, please signify by raising your admission card. No objections. Following the majority of the votes being in favor of this resolution, I hereby declare that the resolution to approve general mandate on page 184 of the 2022 annual report has been passed. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the agenda. On behalf of the board, I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to attend this meeting, and I would like to place on record the board's sincere appreciation for your continued interest and support for our company over the years. You may take your leave after our closing prayers. May I request Alpha Ganiu Amao to say the closing prayers. If you could all please wait for the closing prayers. There are enough packs for everybody, I believe. Thank you. So, Alpha Amao. Yes, yes, I'm here. Where is he? We thank Almighty Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. We thank Almighty Allah for the peaceful and successful meeting conduct today. We thank Almighty Allah for the blessing he gives to us to attend this meeting. May Almighty Allah continue to bless our management, 
board of director and staff of this uh, company with the useful knowledge and wisdom and strategy that they will use to move this company to the uh, highest level. By next year, I think they will be able to be declared Tirinera dividend for us. In the mighty name of Allah, I pray. Subhanaka Allahumma wa biamdik. Asyaru ala ila ilanta. Subhanaka Allahumma wa biamdik. Subhanaka Subhanaka Rabbika Rabbi Isa ti ama yasifun. Wassalamu ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Salu ala nabi kareem. Can we rise for the national anthem?